Hey everyone, Mike here, and I realize that it has been a long time since I've done any kind of an update. So, here I am. Um, it's currently 10.45 at night, and I was laying here in bed thinking to myself, Jesus Christ, it's been forever, so here we go. Um... I think the last time that I did this update, it was about my um, father having passed away and what have you. And um, so going from April 27th till now, it's been a very emotional roller coaster. Just a lot of ups and downs and side to sides and. But for the most part, I'm in a really good place in my life. And it's kind of hard to explain it, but I just feel at peace with everything right now. And um, actually, if you look, I don't know if I can get a good enough picture, but this is my dad. It is a cremation jewelry, and it's a little urn that has his remains in it, and I can keep it with me, and I never really take it off. I think I've taken it off maybe once since I've gotten it, but yeah, and it's in a little star. I'm sucking with this webcam tonight, um, but yeah, so... The funeral was nice. I mean, as nice as a funeral can be. But um, the people who got up and spoke about my father were just amazing. Listening to everything that people had to say about him and just how well-liked he was and how well-loved he was in the community and how everyone just respected him for the job that he did and everything else. So... It was really kind of nice, and people that he grew up with or hadn't talked to in 30, 40 years were there. His very first boss showed up. I was like, good lord, what kind of Disney animatronics brought you back to life so that you could attend this funeral? But I kind of kept that inside because, well, you know, not very appropriate. Um, but yeah, that was really good. And... What I was really happy about was the fact that me and my brother finally got to reconnect, and um, we never really had a falling out, per se. We more had like a, oh, okay, you exist type of a relationship. He's not, my he's not my blood brother or anything. He's a brother by marriage, so he's my stepbrother. But I still love him like he's a real flesh and blood brother. Um, always have, always will. Same thing with my nephew. Um, but um, anyways, we really got to connect and talk, and that was flippin' amazing. Um, and I finally came out and I told him, you know, dude, I, this is how I feel. I feel like you don't want anything to do with me, like, I'm an embarrassment to you, like, you know, I just laid it all out on the table for him, and I even told him about some personal shit that he didn't think that I knew about, or, and some other stuff that I told him, um, he used to have a really horrible drug problem, and I lived right down the street from him, and, um, I used to drive by his house three, four times a week and um, just kind of like check up on him and I'd see him out in the garage with a bunch of his little drug dealer buddies or whatever and I never really stopped and I just told him, I'm like, dude, I didn't want to put you in the position of having to try to explain why your brother's coming around or whatever and I was like, you know <clears throat> but I did love you and I was always praying for you every night or doing whatever I had to do, but I laid that all out on him, and he just started crying, and he was like, you know, dude, what the fuck, did you have to, like, 
It's been always such a heavy load on me right now, especially with Dad dying and all this other stuff. But but he's like, you know what? I'm glad that you brought this to my attention because you know, I always thought that there was something, you know, lacking in our relationship, and now I know why. And he's like, and if I ever gave you that feeling that you were less than or that I didn't love you, I'm sorry. So. You know, we really got to connect, and that was amazing for me. And um, we're talking on Facebook more. He invited me to come, and sorry about that, but he invited me to come on a camping trip with him and some of his friends and things. And <clears throat> I'm still debating on if I want to do that or not because. Um, that's a lot of money to try to shell out just to go camping. Um, so we'll we'll see how that works. It's out for another three weeks or so. Um, but anyways, yeah. So um, with my mental health, though, I've been fairly okay. Still having a few like bipolar rage moments. Um, where things will piss me off and I like completely lose my temper, but I'm trying not to do that. Um, I've noticed that I'm able to restrain myself more than what I have been in the past. So that makes me extremely happy that I'm able to do that. And um, I have recently started doing my exercises again, so I'm really, really happy about that. Um, my, I went out and I bought myself a Wii, and I got it on Craigslist for fifty bucks, and it came with like three games. And so I went out and I got um, Just Dance three, and Just Dance two, and a few other games like that. And so I'm really happy with the results that I'm seeing on that. Um, would you shut up? Sorry. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with the results that I'm seeing on that. Um, on there's a challenge mode where you could do like a 70 challenge or fitness challenge or whatever, and um, it starts you off with 3,500 calories for the entire week, and in less than three days, I blew right past that marker and ended up stopping at. 5,748 calories or something like that, and that's with missing two days. Um, and that was last week when I first started it. Um, this week I'm doing kind of like freestyle exercises just because um, my arms are killing me from doing all the dancing and everything on the Wii, so got to kind of pace myself and see what I can do in that, in that respect. Um, also, when I was in California, my phone took a dive on me. Uh, my Huey Ascend 2, or however the hell you pronounce it, um, completely locked up on me to the point where I couldn't use it anymore. So my mom uh, went out and got me a Samsung Galaxy 3, which I love it. The only problem that I have with it is the fact that... Um, Unlike the Huey that I had, it doesn't have the same cell phone reception. Um, so there's only certain spots in my house that I can get reception. Otherwise, it's pretty dead. And um, also, Google has screwed up on one of the updates that it did, and certain people can't download from the Google Play Store anymore. And um, my phone happens to be one of them. So yay, me. I have a shit ton of stuff that i got to download and update, but, well, can't do it. Because why? Well, Google sucks right now. Um, but for the most part, I really like it. And it allows me to update Keek and Instagram, which are two of the biggest things that I like to update right now. And so, um, 
what I've been telling everyone over on the blog, hellocupcakeitsme.com, and on the um, Facebook page is if you want to keep in touch with me, um, check me out on Keek and on Instagram because I've been uploading videos to those just because it's quick and on the fly. I tried to do a um, YouTube update using my Samsung Galaxy and the video for 15 minutes came out to like 22 gigabytes and YouTube was like, no, 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 we ain't uploading this shit so you need to figure some shit out. So um, I lost that entire update. Um, it was a little bit more in depth than things like that. Talk, um, I can't even remember all the content that I had on there, but I was talking about the phone, about where I was mentally and physically. Um, oh, I also started um, making jewelry again, which some of you may or may not remember from previous videos. I may have mentioned it. Um, this is one of the bracelets that I made. It's Czech glass and um, Chinese crystal. The red is the Chinese crystal. The black is the Czech glass. Um, I made that for myself just because I felt like I needed a bracelet and um, made that ring like a hundred thousand years ago when I first started making jewelry. So it's just a little blue rhinestone. Um, so yeah, um, doing that, working out daily, uh, trying to get more to be more progressive and um, not so sedentary. Um, so I'm going to be updating the blog once a month with all my um, statistics and everything. And um, if you all are ha happen to be trying to lose weight or whatever. One program that I really highly suggest uh, is MyFitnessPal. So if you go to MyFitnessPal.com, it's free for Android, um, Apple, I think BlackBerry, and now Windows. But don't quote me on that. Um, but you can also get it on um, the computer just by going to MyFitnessPal.com. And I also know that they have a version of it on um, Kindle Fire called Cal my calorie counter or some crap like that. Um, anyways, with that, what it does is it's not a diet, but what you do is you count your calories. And so, for me, weighing as much as I do and wanting to lose the weight that I need to, I'm given 2,500 calories a day. So, it's just 500 calories more than what the average person has for their intake, but what happens is any exercise you do that's like cardiovascular or whatever, it adds to your calorie count for the day. So let's say I did 20 minutes of power walking, or just 20 minutes of walking, and I burnt 1,500 calories. Well, that 1,500 calories now goes on my daily total so it takes me from 2,500 calories to 4,000 calories that you can have. And um, the whole goal of the program is not to go over your caloric intake for the day. And I've been managing to stay well under my cal um, caloric intake for the day. <clears throat> so it, it's really something you should check into. It's an amazing program and it's free. Um, and I'll be posting stats about that here pretty soon, too. If you want to follow me on there, I believe my screen name is Bubba Goo, B -U -B -B -A -G -O -O. Um, but yeah, it's, um, it's just a really amazing program. It's chock full of all kinds of information, so really go check it out. Yeah, it's um, myfitnesspal.com slash bubagoo. So if you want to friend me over there and we can try to, you know, share information or what have you, it would be amazing to have someone else to kind of talk to and um, compare notes with. 
Um, but for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and cut this off. Um, I'm going to try to be a little bit more diligent with uploading videos, but like I said, go check me out over on Keek. It's K-E-E-K dot -E -E com. You can download it for your Android or Apple device. Um, it may be on BlackBerry and Windows, I'm not sure. And um, follow me over there. I believe my username there is Hello Cupcake It's Me dot or just Hello Cupcake It's Me, all one word. Um, and on Instagram, it's my full name. So it's um, Instagram dot com slash Michael Scott Peterson or however they do it over there. Anyways, um, hope you all are well. Hope you had a wonderful Fourth of July, and I will talk to you soon.